This is like a dream come true, finally available on vinyl again. It's a great day for all music lovers around the world. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello friends and welcome to my new video. It's Friday afternoon, I just came back home from work and I have to say, today is one of the best days for all music lovers and vinyl fans around the world. Finally, finally this masterpiece has been reissued. Of course I'm talking about the Buena Vista Social Club and I would say this is one of the most wanted items 2015. I still can't believe that I finally have it in the collection because it was really one of my biggest grails I have to say. And yeah, I came back home, I cleaned the records quickly and I listened to the entire album focused and I'm blown away I have to say. This is so cool, oh my god. Um, yeah, um, where should I start? Uh, let's put it that way. Um, the reissue has been for pre-order I think since um, March or February this year and I placed my pre-order in March and the record finally arrived and it's so cool I have to say. To get in the right mood um, I watched a documentary movie last night, um, Academy Award winning I think, um, made by a German called Wim Wenders and um, yeah, I have to say the whole movie, the record and the whole story behind it is so touching in a way and it's really one of those albums, probably the most famous world music album in general and um, a masterpiece from start to finish I have to say. Yeah, I listened to it and here are my thoughts about the reissue, about the remaster. Uh, first of all there is this sticker here um, saying Mastered by Bernie Grundman from the original analog master tapes, 180 gram double vinyl and this pressing also includes a download code, a postcard and a very nice booklet. Uh, hold on. Uh, which looks like that. So this is the postcard. Um, it features some uh, other albums on World Circuit. Here's the download code. Feel free to use it if you are the first uh, person who's watching. And uh, the coolest uh, thing is this booklet, uh, I have to say. 20 pages, um, it features some uh, information about the album, about the process of the recording, of course some vocals, and uh, also what I really love, uh, you have the English uh, lyrics and there is the, trans uh, the Cuban lyrics and there is the English translation on the other hand side, which uh, is also fantastic as well. And I mean, it's such a great package. Um, if you don't know this album, yeah, it's of course a record from Cuba, Afro-Cuban world music record. And the story behind this is uh, one of the producers of the label World Circuit um, is a good friend of Ray Kuder, who, who also produced and recorded this album. And they started a project um, yeah, recording music from Cuba uh, together with uh, African musicians. But the African musicians didn't show up because they were stuck at the airport. And then uh, Ray Kuder and his son had to search for original uh, Cuban musicians and some of them uh, hadn't played their instruments in years actually. And yeah, then the whole magic started and you can I can highly recommend the movie, like I said. And then they recorded this album. It was uh, released in uh, 1997, I think. And original pressings sell for some crazy money in these days. And yeah, so the reissue is finally available. Get your copy while you can. It's a beautiful gatefold. It opens up. And here you can see the whole session. And yeah, beautiful. Beautiful from start to finish. Um, some words about the sound quality and the pressing. Um, it's definitely an audiophile highlight. I enjoyed listening to it. The piano, the percussion instruments, everything else, the voice, the sound stage, beautiful, dynamic, clear, powerful. A fantastic record uh, sound-wise. 
if I uh, had some uh, criticism, I would say that my pressing is slightly warped. It's still in the tolerance, but I mean, it could have been better. It came in polyline inner sleeves, by the way. And uh, there's also a tiny little pressing mistake fail, uh, fail on the uh, first track of the seaside in the first 10 seconds. But uh, to my mind, that's also still in the tolerance. Yeah, the famous Buena Vista Social Club. I can highly recommend this one. And I have to say, the whole world music uh, thing is something I would really uh, like to discover deeper. And uh, another record that I would highly recommend uh, is this one. This is called Talking Timbuktu, also produced by Ry Cooper, with the famous musician from Mali, uh, who is called Ali Farka Toure. And um, this is also an audiophile classic, and highlight. Uh, so good in every way and if you like the Buena Vista Social Club album you should uh, listen to this one as well um, one of my favorites I have to say and this was also just reissued some month ago well friends um, yeah let's show the label the record is still spinning um, that's how the label looks like And I mean, that's beautiful, um, fantastic uh, sound. There is the Bernie Grundman stamp in the dead wax, so he must he remastered it by himself from the original tapes. And yeah, this is like a dream come true, really. Um, I tried to get this album for ages. I listened to the classic records pressing once, and I have to be very honest on this one. To my mind, if I remember it right, the classic records pressing was still a tiny, tiny little bit better, but I mean, we're talking about the last one or two uh, percent, so um, that's totally okay. Yeah. Well, friends, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Get your copy while you can, it's a beautiful record. Um, yeah, have a great weekend. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>